Serbian and Kosovo leaders left Brussels early on Wednesday without a deal, after more than 12 hours of discussions. Aimed at normalizing the relations between both sides, Pristina and Belgrade have held eight rounds of EU-mediated talks, but have so far failed to reach an agreement. Kosovo declared independence from Serbia in 2008, with the backing of the West. But Serbia has refused to recognize the secession, due to concerns about the large Serbian community living in the north. EU foreign policy chief Catherine Ashton said it was the last time all sides would meet formally in Brussels. This is the last time we will meet formally. A number of proposals were put on the table and the gap between them is very narrow but deep. They will now both go back and consult with their colleagues in their capitals and will let me know in the next few days their decision. The unresolved talks represent a major setback for Serbia's hopes of starting new membership discussions this year. In June, Brussels will decide whether to launch EU accession talks with Serbia after Madame Ashton issues a progress report in mid-April. We have had an intensive uh, uh, dialogue process in the last six months. They have met eight times and they have indeed discussed for very, very long hours uh, uh, a number of, of issues. Um, I think that uh, the elements for possible solutions uh, uh, are there um, and uh, the two sides will now consult in their capitals and communicate uh, to the high representative uh, uh, their, their, uh, their uh, decisions. The EU-mediated dialogue began in March 2011. Since then, agreements on several issues, such as the free flow of people and goods, have been reached.